And what's going on guys? Another beautiful day here in Kansas City, Missouri. And uh, yeah, I did a couple things real quick this morning that I felt needed to be done. And on the new Gravely, if you can see, it has those little pinhole zerks for uh, your grease fittings. So what I've been doing is just popping these off and putting a regular just Clapsal Zerk fitting on there. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to go to like Feldman's and just install those and keep those on there. Because I don't know why I keep popping them out just to put that one in. Because since the Encore really doesn't get used that much anymore, um, I was just going to pop the Zerks off of this, but they're way too big and they don't fit. So what I have been using is the one off the Sulky off this that works fine. But at the same time, why keep unscrewing those just to screw one in, put grease and switch them and stuff? Why not just install the ones I need? It's like they're probably like just a couple cents each. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, guys, just another quick mowing vlog today. Like last time, I don't really know what I'm going to be filming and not filming. I'm going to try to film at least one property mowing. Probably the majority of this video is a lot of talking and stuff. But before I start this video, I want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to Brian Ring at Ring Lawn Care. He's been doing my website all last year and the beginning of this year, and I have easily doubled my workload just this year. And I would say 85 to 90% of those clients that are coming through are through my website email list. And that's awesome. And the reason that's so awesome for me guys is because I'm a very unorganized person. And if they go through my website and fill it out for the estimate, it keeps everything organized. I got their name, phone number, email, I got their address. Everything's just locked, loaded, ready to go. And there's also been a lot of bids I got in there that I just chose not to do because they're a little too far out of my property range. But if I was a bigger business, not solo, God, I'd have so much work this year, it'd be crazy. So my main focus for this week for the extra amount of workload I have picked up, I'm right at 41, 42 properties uh, this week. I'm gonna see if it's pretty easy for me to do it straightforward. Everything I do is within a nine, 10 mile radius. So the majority of the days I can knock out anywhere between 12 and 15 by myself. But there's some days you really, it's hot, it's nasty, you don't have the energy for that. So I got my schedule kind of laid out for like eight to 10 a day, if that makes any sense, just so I can not feel like I have to work as fast and as hard and as stressed out. So I'm gonna see how this goes. If it goes really smooth, I'll have an idea of how many more clients I can pick up to max myself out. Because before I always thought that 35 to 40 range was gonna be my max out, as far as doing 100% solo, uh, plus freeing up my weekends to spend time with the family and go out on the boat and always make sure I have time for Braden's activities and appointments. But I'm feeling like I'll be able to do a lot more this year with the amount of calls I'm getting in and just consolidating that route to do as much workload in a day as possible. But yeah, guys, we really gotta get going because I'm talking about saving time and I'm wasting a lot of time talking to you on the uh, 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 cam 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 camera right here. So uh, this goes out to all you solo guys. All you solo guys in your area, let me know if you've been in business for a long time, what you kind of maxed out for and what you felt was your best and most comfortable number as far as servicing weekly properties. I'm just curious to hear your thoughts and opinions on what you kind of run your workload. And especially if you have a family and a lot of other responsibilities that tack onto that. Now, if I was 18, 22 and I didn't have a family, dude, I feel like I could work seven days a week, but I'm just starting not to be realistic. And there's probably going to be a lot of familiarities, familiar, familiar, flowlums. So there's probably going to be a lot of familiarity. Familiar, there's going to be a lot of things that look the same in this day as the last vlog because this is Monday again. It's the same day, so I'm going to have a lot of those same properties with, like I said, a couple extra new ones. Uh, this is probably, like I said, going to be a little more talking. We're going to get some footage, definitely some aftermaths and things like that because I am taking the camera. We're getting ready to go. First thing I got to do is get gas all the time always having to get gas uh something else i'm working on this year that i've always struggled with and that's my taxes not so much paying it but keeping myself organized and i found a new app that i'm going to be using for my taxes it keeps track of my mileage when i drive it has an easy load for expenses i can take pictures of receipts and categorize them i want everything as easy as possible because when tax season comes i literally spend three days straight trying to organize like what I spent on credit cards for my business, what I spent through my bank account for my business, how much gas I got to go through my whole transactions list on my bank account and mark off. It's just, 
I'm a mess when it comes to that stuff, guys. I make tall grass short. That's what I do. I'm not an accountant by any means. But I'm trying to find things that make my life simpler. If you guys have things you use in your business, I don't use QuickBooks. I use Yardbooks for my invoices and keeping my clients and everything organized. And then I'm going to start using this other program as far as keeping my taxable stuff organized in my business. So let me know what you guys use and what's worked the best for you because I'm always open to opinions and trying to find things that are easier. But uh, yeah, let's go get some gas. Guys, I am obsessed with these Dunkin' Donuts iced coffees, dude. The original and the French vanilla. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed with them lately. But yeah, guys, let's go. First property, let's get to mowing. Let's put in some work. Well, I just mowed a property and you guys didn't even know it. <laughs> Use your exact room and get free Wi-Fi. Cross my heart, stick a needle in my radio. I will tell you what, guys, these vlog style videos I'm trying to start doing are gonna be super difficult for me because I'm not very good at multitasking. I just wanna get my jobs done and go home. So it's hard for me to keep remembering to pull the camera out. But uh, yeah, I don't even know what number I'm on. I'm on a couple of however many. It's what, noon 30? Whatever time noon 30 is. I had to have done at least, let me look at my schedule. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've done six. And uh, I did stop for a little bit. I have a buddy that's across from one of my clients. His name is Kyle. He's a uh, firefighter locally, and he started his lawn and landscape business last year, and I was shooting him a lot of clients last year. And he's up to about 16 right now. And uh, I get calls for some people still, and emails, that aren't really in the area I'm looking to stay at and build my uh, you know, route density as much, so I'm looking to shoot him some more. He's a super nice guy, super cool. We chatted it up for a while, so. That's what it is, man. I'm talking about networking, because I know that's a guy. If I needed something, he'd be more than willing to help me with it and vice versa. And that's why I like, like networking. It's kind of like having little lifelines all around everywhere. And we did go ahead and mow two brand new properties. I did not film those. I actually thought about grabbing the camera for one, but I like to at least text message these clients and say, hey, just to let you know, I do a lot of advertising in different ways for my business. Would it be okay if I recorded on your property? I always like to let them know. That way it's not ever an awkward moment of why is that guy recording on my product? They know, I make sure that they know what's going on. But uh, yeah, two super fun, nice, simple, simple properties but they look so good now with the edges done and the stripes, man. It just looks so good. But let's keep it uh, moving on. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, he's outside with a camera. I know, I'm doing something. Guys, this property right here used to be nothing but dirt and like chickweed last year. Dude, it's doing rather well. He's getting it treated. They got some seed on it. It's striped, it's still a little patchy, work in progress, but dude, it's looking good. And that's another cool thing about the job that we do. I mean, I've serviced this yard for two years now. Where it came from when it started is way better, like 100% better. But uh, I didn't provide those services. I just cut it. I'm just glad I'm to the point now I'm cutting this yard and it's popping and it's looking really, 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 really good. Another one down. We out here, boys. Crispy edges. Beautiful stripes, except these stripes kind of disappeared above the mountain stuff I had to blow back into the yard but it looks great dude and this also gives me a great moment to uh, address a keyboard warrior so the other day I do a video and I put look at these nice gravely stripes man I'm gonna call you out on your BS sell out it wouldn't do nothing without that stripe key at least that's how I think you sound smashing you're probably like a single button typer with out takes you a long time to type shit but uh yeah, okay, when I say Gravely Stripes, you're correct. My Gravely does have a big league lawn stripe kit on it. Go back and watch my videos before it had it on there. The thing striped like a maniac. And now when I'm saying Gravely Stripes, what's pulling behind it? What's pulling the stripe kit? What's cutting the grass before the stripe kit can get to it? That machine right there, and it does a hell of a good job. And it does even better with the big league stripe kit on it. So when you guys say dumb stuff, sometimes I just want to address it because it's just, it's just, it's ridiculous to me. We're all out here trying to run a business. I'm mowing however many properties a week. Busting it, killing it, making money. So when you say I'm a sellout because of whatever equipment I choose to run in my business, 
Or maybe you're upset that companies reach out to people like me and people like whoever else is out here doing these things and putting themselves out there. You're mad at the fact that we take these opportunities that we're given. I'm so glad that these companies choose to work with me in my business to help me make even more money in my business. Sell out, if you want to call it that, sure. I call it having equipment on my stuff to get me done every week. If I could pay for people to do all this stuff for me, I would. But guess what? It doesn't happen like that. So with the machines I'm using, I'm more than willing to say I was dominating what I'm doing. And now that I have a stripe kit on the back of this, now I'm really dominating what I'm doing. So I just mowed the yard, guys, that you may remember back from the Encore days when I only ran a walk behind just a dandelion field. Disgusting, man, but I'm back here at Quick Trip. Man, I gotta go pee so bad. All right, guys, just got in taking a pee, and I'm gonna sit here, eat my Quick Trip hot dog and my Surge, because I'm bringing back the 90s for lunch, and I'm gonna do my invoicing real quick, because I just mowed six properties, and I was in an area that I get no service, so I usually will come here or wait to the next spot, but since I had a pee so bad, I'm here, so I'm gonna go ahead and invoice all these out and uh, head out to the next one. I had a kid come up to me who watches all my videos, worked with Blake for a couple times. I had a kid come up to me who watches all my videos, worked with Blake for a couple times. Just sabotage him, dude, just snuck him into the video. Dude, thanks for coming up the truck and saying you watch the videos, man, I appreciate stuff like that. Hope you have a good day, I hope you figure out what you're doing and I hope you start a business soon like you're talking about, doing lawn care, going to school. Dude, easy money. All right guys, hot dog down, surge half the way, invoices all sent out, ready to go on to the next thing. And why the hell didn't you guys tell me that quick trip hot dog would have been a horrible idea? I feel nauseous and my stomach hurts so bad, guys. And I told you guys I probably wasn't going to be recording much today just because I wanted to get so much stuff done. I'm exhausted, man. The sun's going down. I got this little acre and a half lot next. Next, I can barely talk. Got this little acre and a half lot left and I'm done. Same place I got stuck at the other day down in that little drainage ditch over there. Uh, what was that last week? But yeah, man. I'm looking at, I think, 16 today. 16 in one day is pretty good. About a day and a half on what I kind of have set up. And I set my schedule up. I think I've explained to you guys this before. There is certain days I got to be home at a certain time to get my kid off the bus and things like that. So I have to be lenient on my schedule. Otherwise, I just work sun up to sundown every day, make as much money as I could type stuff. But I got to be lenient on my schedule. So I'm kind of doing this kind of stuff to kind of get a good grasp of what I can accomplish in a day for the way my schedule is, new schedule, with all this other different stuff. But relative, the most, relative, I can barely talk. Relatively, most of the clients are in the same kind of area and close to each other. So I'm boom, 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 in and out, which is awesome. But yeah, guys, I'm just gonna get this done. I may show an aftermath of this property, even though I did last time. I'm just tired, man, I'm beat. It's a new start to the season. I'm not really in the lawn care bod yet, you know what I'm saying? So I'm still hibernating from the winter, you know? I'm trying to catch up on that. Yeah, but let's grab the mowers real quick. Let's finish this video off, man. I'm sorry I didn't film that much for you guys. Like I said, I'm just trying to get stuff done. So I got that all mowed, obviously. I still gotta trim it and stuff, but a lot of you guys talk about the stuff you listen to while you're mowing, podcast this, you know, building the business. I wanna let you know something. The whole time mowing that, I listened to Michael Jackson's Thriller, and I never had more fun and felt more upbeat in my entire life. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching, like always, man. We'll do another one of these maybe in a couple days. I don't know. We'll see. I'm tired. Uh, I'm trying to think of what content I got coming out. I have some different things. I'll leave it at that. And uh, more mowing vlogs. So, like, comment, subscribe, guys. See you in the next one.